Well, how's it going today there, UTD? It's just a beautiful, hot as frig out day up here in Kazakh, Ontario. It's uh, about 35 degrees, about 40 with the Humidex. We got our package slip here for, uh, I assume, our auction lot. So you haven't bought anything else yet. She's hot as friggin' here, but anyway, I just want to show you guys something. I started making a video yesterday, but uh, didn't really finish it because, well, got preoccupied doing other things. So anyway, pulled the battery out of that uh, yard works machine, and I put the battery that I put in the 145 on Saturday in it, and I went to go put this uh, switch in it, but this is only a, a five-pin switch. But the switch on this machine is a five pin switch but it's also got this extra little wire on it so i don't know if that's for um like a safety or like a safety for a ground or something i'm not sure what that's for so i'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on that but i think it's just for a safety switch but i don't know i tried it yesterday because obviously the guy before me tried to butcher the screwdriver and she hogged right out in there so there, there is no turn in that but I put the battery in it, and then I tried to even turn it over. I wasn't even getting a click at the starter, so I'm starting to wonder maybe the solenoid's pooched or if the starter's locked up. So I don't know. We'll have to take a little bit closer look. But it's too friggin' hot to worry about that today. So, anyways, let's go to the old shopper's drug marks there, and we'll uh, see if our package is in. Oh, I hear the unpackaged tractor parts, boys. Clankly, clank, clank. Ah, oh, well, it's all for restoration anyway. Right, we we'll got you guys up on the tripod here. We'll, uh, you got the case trap knife, of course. We'll open her up and we'll see what we got. This came from, uh, Hemlock MI, which I think is Missouri. I think. Don't quote me. Pile of stuff in there. A lot of parts. But why don't we? Okay, I'll put the box down here, and you guys can also kind of see we got a lot of stuff in here to cover. So the first thing is a John Deere 494 card planter, which I do have to put back together because obviously our little seed hoppers are broken here in the back. Which I knew some of the stuff was going to be rough, but we can get parts for this stuff. This is a little IH disc. This is something I want to make into a custom for the uh, go behind the W4 there. I'm going to try and cut it back here, maybe make it a little single disc with I think we'll figure that out. Here we have the John Deere 60, which needs the front end put back on it. And the steering rod straightened out, the steering wheel, and of course the respray and whatnot. But that'll be a pretty straightforward build. Doesn't look too difficult to get apart. I think actually the steering rod or the axle pedestal rather is in the in this box somewhere this here is the john Deere 1700 car planner this goes to mark bewick so there'll be a video i'm gonna go down to jolly's here probably later this month before we go to farmersville then we're gonna exchange with mark and then we'll see nick again on a video so i gotta get in touch with nick about that we have a uh, Fertile hay wagon here. I guess that goes on the back. Something like that, I guess. To be repaired. We have a green John Deere disc here. And the disc games are in this box. So we'll go and put that back together. Oops. You've got a half a John Deere plow, which this is... This might just go right in the maybe repaired box. This is a little bit rough, but we'll see if we can't. Because the casting here is broke, but I might be able to make a little plate that goes on the inside and we'll be able to put this back together. But I don't know. I'll figure something out. It doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult to get going again, because that would be kind of nice to put behind maybe, say, a, uh, a certain 49.55. I think it'll pull that just fine. I mean, everything looks like it's there, it just needs to be put back together. Get a little piece of brass or something, and 
I'll glue it back in there and we'll figure something out. There's all, all kinds of little repairs you can do. We have another John Deere desk here. So this will obviously comes over here and it locks. Like so. Disc gangs are in this box in the bottom. Hopefully you guys can kind of see the whole pan shot here. I'll take the camera off the tripod and you guys will see. And here's one of the reasons why I bought this whole lot. This is a John Deere 3020, but it's got a canopy top on it. The top rear uh, is right here to be replaced. And this needs to be have the holes drilled and riveted on. So this one will be an easy little project. This will be a straight sandblast and uh, order an exhaust pipe. The wheels and tires are absolutely fantastic on it. It's basically shelf ready. Just needs to be cleaned up a little bit and painted. Instead of decals, it'll be uh, good as new. So that'll go over pretty easy. And of course down here we've got a tongue for that. A lot of the stuff is to be repaired, so I'm not sure what that goes. I don't think that's anything enough here. You got a little extra wheel here for something. Got our planter boxes for that 494, but I think you can buy new planter boxes. I've seen them on eBay before. So we're gonna need at least three of those. But I'm not sure how they attach the oh they just rivet on there, so they'll probably be able to just they come in here on the back side, hopefully I'm getting on camera right. Coming on the back side, then you just either take a center punch and paint them over. That'll, that'll be a straightforward fix. So I think you can buy these boxes on eBay. I've seen them. I've seen them on there before. Uh, I'm not sure what that goes to. Could be rails for that wagon or something. There's two of them in here. And this is oh, this is a muffler for the 3020. That just goes in there, obviously, but obviously I'm not going to put that on there until I get things repainted. This is just parts and pieces to another little disc here, I guess. Little knick-knack pieces. Got a spare tire for something. Maybe they go for the 3020. Got more little disc gangs. And then we just got a piece of broken one. You got a little, that's off the John Deere 6410, a little tire out that. You can use it for anything though. But I think we got our work cut out for us, boys. And I don't know what that piece goes to, but. Yeah, I'll pull the camera off the tripod here and we'll uh, take a little bit closer of a look. Okay, well, here's a little bit closer of a update of what I got. See, that 3020 will clean up real quick. Be real easy to restore, I think. I think I'm just really unsure at the moment. Got looking at it. How I'm gonna get these wheels off and not destroy the end of that axle that's peened over. I might have to just have to sand it and then sand it off and pop the axle out and then I can peen it back over again. But yeah, I got I know, all these little extra discs. I don't know. If, might be able to use a disc gang for something. This will clean up nice and easy. This this I might even start on later on tonight or something this will be an easy clean up needs a needs the draw bar fix but that's not real difficult to do a piece of wire and a drill you're done basically the plow will be a little bit of a challenge i think i'll just jb weld it and then uh i'll tape all the gangs off and then i'll spray it and i don't know what's going on with this someone i think some kid had a, some bazooka chewing gum or something that doesn't smell like it but i don't know what that's all about <laughs> This other disc here, this is not in bad shape either, so this, uh, that running gear may very well fit on this. Which I don't think that it wouldn't, I think it's only just held on with just these little wires here, but that's not hard to bend up either if you really, really wanted to do it. And you can put the tongue on it and whatnot, this little piece here will go on that in no time at all, so that might not be a bad choice either. This little planner here for Mark, this is a nice little piece here. It needs to be cleaned up too, of course, but uh, obviously everything else does here too. Needs a draw bar, and needs a few little bits and pieces, but I 
think Mark's in the same kind of business I am. He kind of likes to restore this kind of stuff too. Of course, little John Deere 60, it looks a little junky right now, but all it needs is a steering rod, pedestal, steering wheel. I might see if I can find these rims again, and I obviously need a set of front wheels for it, so that's not too good off at all. And here's something I actually want to see. I wasn't sure if this is a true skill or an Ertl. It says made in the USA, so that's a start. I've been trying to figure out if it's a true scale or an early Ertl. And I'm really not too sure. Just says made in the USA on it. Hmm. I have a feeling it might be a true scale. But I'm not a hundred percent certain. Okay, I'll have to get that steering rod out of there. It looks like there's a little ow, piece of pedestal stuck in the bottom there, but that's okay. We'll get her fixed up. The 494 is really not in that bad of shape. Just needs the planter boxes riveted back on, really, because those will have to all be drilled out, of course, which is not hard to do. I need to get myself a good set of drill bits, because all my drill bits are all getting dull, so... But then again, we work on a lot of tractors. This red disc here, like I said, it might uh, make it into something else. I'll have to have a look online and see if I can find that disc I've seen before. I might make this into something else as well, because this obviously has no wheels on it. But I might make this part into a, one of the old vintage discs, but I don't know. We'll see how things go. Of course, this hay rack, well... This might just go on the auction lot. I'll fix the tongue on it or see if I can get another axle for it. And I'm not really too interested in that, but that's all right. We'll uh, we'll get this stuff cleaned up and it might make some nice videos for you guys. I should also mention too that I paid about $55 US for all this stuff and uh, really it's not a bad deal. This is the untrained eye. This looks like a bunch of junk to most people, but uh, of course us on uh, YouTube and the other you guys are in the farm toy hobby, we of course love to fix this kind of stuff and I think it would make great videos for you guys too, so uh, I think it was a good haul of stuff anyway and uh, very shortly we'll be able to go put this stuff in that bedroom right there, that's right full of tractors, obviously you guys know what that looks like in there, that's the great toy tractor hoarder room. Anyway boys, I'll get this edited up for you guys, if I start doing anything with that stuff I'll uh, be sure to record it for you, um, I think it's going to be a... Work on the old scrap metal night tonight, so uh, we get that cashed in. And maybe have a scrap run on Friday because we got some other stuff to take in and whatnot. But uh, also forgot to mention in the uh, other video, Arnold Smith sent us a couple of these magnets in too. Cedar Grove Farms, of course, you can read that for yourself. Just uh, I forgot to record in the last video. But anyway, boys, uh, dinner's in the oven, and uh, I may or may not start on some of that stuff tonight, but you never know. Uh, if you guys like what you see, of course, please comment, rate, subscribe. If you're interested in sending me a uh, tractor combat and piece of equipment for the greatest farm toy collection on YouTube, that's where you can send it to, of course. Or even literature or anything else in the in this great farm toy hobby that we've got going on here. So, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.